Top 10 Dark Squid Game Theories Too Real to Ignore Nowadays, Squid Game is the hyped-up topic of the town. This Korean series started on Netflix in mid-September, and since then, let's be honest, many of us have devoted our weekends to this show. This show is written and directed by Hwang Dong-hyuk. The guy wrote this series in 2008, but it premiered on Netflix in 2019. The series of deadly kids games that are going to win billions in return required around 456 players. Now, before we discuss the top 10 Dark Squid Game theories, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. As you clicked on the video, just be aware that there are going to be some spoilers. Of course, if you're pumped, then keep on watching. Number 10, blue or red? We've seen the blue and the red pill in The Matrix, but what's the significance of the blue and red card in this series? And finally, the show opened up about it. The character Sung Ji-hun was played by the amazing John J. Lee. He wasn't a good father at all in the series and was always after money. When he was on the street to play the game of Ducky for some dollars, he then loses again and again, even getting slapped literally in the face several times, but he stood fast and won at the end with a good amount of change. After winning, he was asked in an indefinite way whether he was going to choose the red or the blue, and he opted for the blue one, and ended up being a player. Whereas those who went through the same and chose for red ended up being a worker there instead of becoming a player. Number 9, Changing Sides Now, the turning point makes this show a bit different from others with similar niches. People get to vote, and then they end up going home. That is it! The first one to get cancelled is the Mario Party, which is from hell. After being cancelled, the player goes back to their normal life. But the 14 players decided not to go back because they were thriving for money. The thing is that the 14 players who did not go back were still required to pay their debts. So from the previous game, there are many people who were also leaving, and that number of people was also added in Season 1. That is a good theory. Number 8, Red Hair Return. Who doesn't love a glow up? Similarly, in the final round, Jihan changed his hair color, but we could see the transition after he wins the game. He didn't even touch his money for a year. The director says that the color red was because it was the craziest thing his character would do, but people think that the color red symbolizes that he is going to be a worker in the next season. What do you think of this theory? Number 7, I Am Your Father. Jihan was seen in episode 3. The episode gave a lot of bunking prison vibes, and when Jihan was asked for food, he requested chocolate milk because he couldn't drink milk. That is smart. When Ingnom asked Jihan if he was spanked in his childhood, he replied, How did you know? Then the old man said that his son is just like him. That is heartthrobbing. Number 6, Winner Return. What we see in the first episode was that the winners spend their winnings and get back into another hole. So, well, obviously everyone would think that the guards are the winners from the previous game and have spent their money in gambling or are used to this stress. Now, in episode 3, if the guards are winners, we see a kid as the guard. No doubt they are good at this game, but it's bad if kids play such games. Do you agree? Number 5, Game Theory. When we think of game theory, it mostly depends on the actions and decisions made by other players. Similarly, if we move the star and Mario Party away, we are moving away from Luigi, too. However, you have to think of others while making strong decisions, and at the same time, other players are working to bank on you. So, in the Squid Game, it shows the choices made by the rich and the lack of choices of the poor. Now, equal power means a good game. When there's an advantage for one, obviously, the other one is going to lose. Comment down below what you think of this. Number 4, Other Games. Now, what makes this game different from the others? What makes it the VIP one? When the guests arrive in North Korea, there are some hits that the Squid Game is a nah. There might be more twists to this game, but what I think makes it different is the old man who has kept the game together throughout. 
and the theory that they are related has opened a new vision. What if everything was going according to the old man's will? What if Ji Han gets to know that his creepy childhood was part of the fun to play the game? Now, what things do other games miss on the board games? Is there even an idea of board games from hell? Maybe. For example, in Monopoly, if one lands on Baltic, they are done. No way back. Number 3. Changing Sides Once More As we discussed before, Ji Han dyed his hair red, and Ji Han and Jun Ho were about to take down the organization, and they might even swipe their roles in the next season. Whenever that's gonna happen, we didn't see Jun Ho dying anywhere. And at last, when they find out that they are brothers, I don't want to see him missing in Season 2. Just think if these two players are going to change their roles. How cool would it be? It'll give another hype to the show. Now, a part of me wants to see a different story every time in the new season, just like Hunger Games. It could do the trick to stick people around to the series. What do you think? Do you want it to be this way too? Number 2. Foreshadowing As we grew closer to the players, we saw them hoping not to bite the dust, rather they meet their fate. The game is twisted, and they are not merely for the faint of heart. The player 101, who was the mafia guy that jumped off the bridge just to avoid casino debts, but then again, in the fifth game, he died from jumping from a bridge. The player 67 warns somebody that he'll cut his neck, but then he gets a cut himself. Now, player 111 was sued because he did some dirty medical stuff, but then he was taken out of the game when he dissected other dead players. Then we have player 212, who promised player 101 that she'll finish the game with him, and she actually pulled him and took him with herself during the bridge ball. Things did get confusing there. Number 1. Number 1's Jacket Lastly, we have the jacket that was worn by the number one guy who was behind everything. He said, I'm scared, and there we go, the doors smashed open immediately. This was a small glimpse of his powers. Now, when Ji Han received that jacket before entering the competition again, he knew that the jacket held some powers and had immunity for the game players. So, there are the 10 theories that we saw in the Squid Games. Do you think that these are worth the talk? Which one was your favorite from all of them? Comment down below. Before you leave, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Do share it with your friends. Do me a favor and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.